scan, the beginning of the end or in your liver. Dr. Sean, who has a dour demeanor, holds up my CAT scan. It's suddenly my bad report card, my dirty underwear, a map of the Congo, and each potential tumor site is a mine. He holds it there and I wait for the pointer stick. He's already wearing the white coat. Here, your body. As you can see, there appear to be masses in your uterus, your colon, your rectum. There is shadowing in various nodes and there is something in your liver. Something, I say? What something could be in my liver? A spoon? A poker chip? A parakeet? What could there be in my liver? There are spots. There could be cysts. There are sometimes cysts on the liver. Ew, cysts on my liver? There is definitely something there. We won't know till we are in there, he says. In there? In my liver? You won't know if I have cancer in my liver until you are in there? And what will you do if you find something, I say? We won't know until we find it. It is bad news. The worst news. This is the worst day of my life. This is the day I am told I am going to die. My heart is racing. I know liver. Liver is it. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I live with a many times recovering alcoholic. He was one step away from cirrhosis. I know about the liver. Once the liver goes, the whole story goes. You can't live without a liver. But my liver would have healed. I stopped drinking almost 34 years ago. I quit smoking 20 years ago. I'm a vegetarian and an activist. I express my emotions a lot. And I've had an incredible amount of sex. I lift weights and I walk everywhere and it's in my liver. Oh my God, it's in my liver. Then a calm comes over me. The same calm that used to descend as I approached a beating by my father. I am calm. I'm not panicked. I'm going to die. This is the beginning of the end. And I finally understand this feeling I have had all year. Not depression, no. I've not been depressed. This strange clarity foreboding that I would not live. So strong was this sense that I talked about death all the time, reconciling myself to it. If I died this trip, it'll be okay, I would say. I've had a good life. I said this so often, my son talked to a shrink. He was worried. He wanted me not to die, and more important, to stop talking as if I were about to die. The shrink said something about me being traumatized, depressed, and burned out by all the work I was doing in conflict zones. But I know things, and I have sensed death in my body all year. I am not panicked, and I'm not even sorry for myself. No, not at all. I've had an extraordinary life. It is exactly the life I wanted. I've done what I wanted to do. I've seen the world. I've loved my son deeply and his children and my friends, and I've been loved. I wrote plays, and they meant things to some people, and I helped women. I think I did. We leave the office. And I hear myself calmly say to Toast, friend and assistant, intimate and manager, I'm going to the Congo tomorrow, Toast. I will need to let Mama see know when I'm arriving. Toast looks at me like I'm mad. Excuse me, I'm going to the Congo. The cancer's in my liver. You heard the doctor, you saw the CAT scan. Cancer in your liver means death. I need to see the women. I need to be there with them in the Congo. I will be happy to be there, to die there. He says, you are not going to the Congo. Your operation is in the morning. You need to be here. They will be operating on you. I say, I am going. And he says, you are not. I am. No, you're not. And it feels like we are yelling, but I'm not sure we are yelling. Toast and I have never yelled in eight years. And it feels like we were wrestling, but I don't think we were wrestling. I am. I am. I am going to die in the Congo. I need to be there for the city of joy. I made promises I need to keep. He says, they did not say it was definitely on your liver. They said they saw spots. Spots is a euphemism, Toast. They couldn't say tumor. They couldn't say we see hard, lumpy cancer tumors on your liver. They say spots. It's such a stupid word, spots. It makes you feel stupid just to say the word spots. Why couldn't they be forthright? Why couldn't they tell me the truth? I need the truth. And we tumble out, I'm not sure it was really tumbling, into the hallway, in the cancer building, in Cancer Town. And we find two sickly looking chairs. And we sit down and we weep uncontrollably.